Hi and welcome to this video showing you the, the point of sale functionality in EasyPods. Let's log on to the point of sale by scanning an access card. Items can be registered for sale in EasyPods in four different ways. If, if the item code is known, you can use the item code to ring up the, the product. The product can be scanned if it has a barcode. The item can be rung off, rung off a touch menu if the item has been allocated to a touch menu. Or the product can be can be registered for sale by using the list items function. The sale can be placed on hold if a client wants to carry on shopping or they've left their wallet for whatever reason you need to put the sale on hold. To do that simply click on hold sale. The sale is now on hold. You can only hold one sale at a time. Let's bring up a couple of other items. And let's go ahead and change the quantity of one of the items. To do that, simply click or touch the, the item that you want to change into the, the value that, that you want in the sale, and, and it will be changed. To change a price of an item, uh, so the following functions, price change, discount, payout, refund, um, cash up report, account, these are all user dependent depending on whether you've allowed this, this user this particular, this partic that particular function. So to change a price, click on price change, click on the product that you want to change the price for, or touch the product that you want to change the price for, enter a value, and touch enter. To discount a, a, a product in a sale, touch or click the discount button, click the or touch the, the, the product that you want to, want to discount, and it, enter a discount percentage. that product will now be discounted by 10%. If you want to discount an entire sale, click on discount, click on any product in the in the sale and enter the discount percentage. And then either click or touch subtotal discount. Now the entire sale is discounted. Let's cash this let's let's cash this sale off. But you can do that either by clicking on cash or touching the cash button or using the shortcut keyboard on the on, on the on the keyboard. Let's put in a value. Receipt will print and the drawer will open. Now what we can do is once we finish that sale, we can bring the whole sale back again. And there's, there's the, the sale that we put on hold. If we wanted to, to, to remove this, this sale altogether, depending on whether we had permission, we could just touch or click on the line and just delete the whole sale entirely. The part function is used for petty cash and to perform a part on a blank screen with no sale. Touch or click the part button, put in a reason, or recipient put in an amount and then save the payout the payout will always be done in cash to perform a refund touch or click the refund button the screen will go red bring up the item that needs to be refunded or the items and finalize the cell as you would per normal. The items will now come back into stock and however you've refunded it in, in, in card or cash that will be re removed off the, off the totals at, for the end of the day report. The receipt on off function just switch the, switches the receipt on or off and this, this can be done if, if a receipt is not being given to every client um, but an after transaction receipt can be printed simply by clicking on print receipt it will print the last receipt. Um, cash up report, this allows the, 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 the system to be cashed up and, and you can perform user reports and, uh, and turnover reports. User reports are more for restaurants. Back office just takes us to the back office to allow us to, to add or edit items and to um, view, the, view the reports and, and all, all the access, all the back office functionality. Open drawer just simply just opens the drawer without making a sale. The, this is also user dependent. List items just lists the items and if you start typing it will find the item that you've typed. Um, account sales. This is to put a sale on account and that will be handled in a, in, a, in a separate video. The open table is, is more for restaurants or for bars where they're opening up tabs for people to pay later. That will also be handled in a on a separate video. That's basically it. Thanks for watching.